You're a villager minding his own business in the early 90s Bulgaria when you see heavy military equipment being transported to your area. Well, that's what the locals of Tsarichina in December of 1990 were witnesses to. To understand what was happening, let's first look at what was happening before and then what's gonna happen next. A few months before that, Bulgaria voted to abandon communism as Soviet aid stopped coming in. This resulted in the worst economic crisis Bulgaria has ever had. In 1990, Bulgaria's debt was at a record high. In general, Bulgaria was in the toilet. All of this would mean cutting the budgets of all sectors, including the military. It was in the interest of everyone to stop this crisis. The at the time chief of the general staff, Radnyu Minchev, was desperate to do something about the budget cuts. The army at that point was pretty much working for free. Minchev then contacts the wife of a high-ranking military staff. Her name is Elisaveta Luginova. She claims to have telepathical connections with aliens who have all the information about the universe. Minchev becomes convinced of her powers and asks her to locate the treasure of Sir Samuel. The idea was that with the treasure, Bulgaria could pay at least part of its debt. And so it was. Minchev starts Operation Sunray. On the 6th of December 1990, digging starts. During that time, Luginova starts writing weird symbols, sometimes accompanied by drawings. During the whole of the operation, she writes a thousand or so pages of these weird texts. When sent to experts, they identify around 900 different repeating characters. After a whole lot of digging, the team decides to ask Grandmother Vanga about the situation. To be completely honest, she deserves a completely separate video of her own, but to summarize her, she was a famous Bulgarian prophet which most of the Bulgarian people respected and believed in. It is said that around 80% of her predictions came true. Anyhow, the team visited Vanga a number of times and we have recordings of a couple. What staircase she's talking about, we can only guess. During other unconfirmed meetings, Vanga is much clearer in her statements and says this. You will reach a capsule. The content canned. You do not know if the capsule is pressurized. What are you going to do with that monkey? Neither man nor woman. If the airtight lid is opened, that creature can be revived from the air. What are you going to do, I ask, when it wakes up and speaks? After meeting with Vanga, two things happen. First, the objective of the operation changes from searching for Samuel's treasure to finding the first human to have ever existed who is also apparently genderless. After this, one of the team members left and the operation was renamed to Slava, or Glory in English. Anyhow, despite of this, they continued digging. At one point, Loginova claims that they reached unbreakable walls. Only via the extraterrestrial's perfect placements of explosives, they manage to break through. And then, they keep digging. The chief of defense, as well as others, get replaced. The new chief of defense sees the $10 million spent on the operation so far as a waste that could have been spent on the ever more desperate failing Bulgarian economy. Apparently, just meters before the location, they seal the hole with concrete. The official reason for ending Operation Glory was financial concerns. What happened to all the documents and materials surrounding this? The simple answer is, we don't know. A search in 2004-2007 proved that the documents were either destroyed or exported out of the country. This is what Luginova has to say about the situation. <laughs> Знаят, че са във водещи държави, 
които работят успешно по разчитането на тази информация. By documents, this includes the notebooks written by Luginova, reports, a few articles and a movie. So, what can we make of this? Don't worry boys, I'm gonna piece together this long-lasting Bulgarian mystery. First, I would like to ask the crucial question of what the fuck happened with the 10 million lefts. From what we can see, there wasn't anything that would cost as much as that. What I believe happened was that politicians and high-ranking military personnel used this operation as a way to gain money for themselves while labeling it as money spent on the operation instead. On the other end of the spectrum, people say that in the end the Bulgarian military excavated some kind of triangular object that is proto-human or extraterrestrial in origin, also that Luginova was right. I am to be honest more biased towards the first one since it's the more obvious and believable answer. As for the notebooks Luginova wrote, I present you with this interview. <laughs> някакъв техникум по художествени занаяти и керамик тук в София, където ги обучават да пишат, да изписват по този начин и керамиката. И тя с учени движения е създала иллюзията, че действително някой диктува странна писменост, а тя само механично Anyhow, now that everything's cleared, Slavikin Do Sensei must go now. I have piles of anime waiting to be watched. See ya.